This man is Joman. He was on his way to pick up his sister's wedding dress. He was the third child of a rich businessman named Vincent. Besides Joman, Vincent also had three other children. On the way home, Joman met his old friend named Mushtaq with a friend named Mushtaq, who then invited him to have lunch together and hang out since it had been a long time since they saw each other. Mushtaq told Joman that he had become a successful businessman, and that he had even exported the goods he produced overseas. He intended to invite Joman to work together in a company. Joman, who heard this, was confused because even though he was the son of a rich businessman, he didn't have any capital because his father didn't trust him to do business, knowing he was a spoiled and not independent boy. A few moments later, Joman realized that he had spent too much time chatting with Mushtaq. He was late in delivering his sister's wedding clothes. Not only that, he also felt annoyed with Mushtaq for not reminding him. Joman went straight home to meet his sister and apologized for the carelessness he had made. Fortunately, his sister forgave him. After that, he was scolded by his father, who looked very angry at that time, but he immediately made an excuse and ran away from the problem. One morning, Joman was whining to his father to buy him a motorbike. Vincent was fed up and decided to tell Joman to visit his friend's shop to choose the bike he wanted and that he would pay for it later. Joman was so happy and immediately went to the shop. Later that day, someone came to Vincent's office to collect the payment for the motorbike that Joman bought. Seeing the bill made Vincent shocked because the price of the motorbike was around 1.8 million rupees. After paying for all that, Vincent went straight home to meet Joman because he felt very annoyed with his son's attitude. Even Joman's brother, Alphonse, also felt annoyed with Joman's attitude. To make amends for Joman's mistake, Vincent punished and asked him to become a bus driver owned by him. Joman, who received the punishment, didn't mind at all and carried it out with enthusiasm. Thanks to his good look, the passengers felt happy and they even gave a lot of tips for him. Unfortunately, the next day, while Joman was driving the bus, he got a ticket because he was driving recklessly and he didn't have a driver's license, but luckily his aunt, who was the mayor of the city, helped him through the problem. Joman was scolded by his uncle for getting a ticket and driving recklessly. His aunt then asked him to repent for his mistake and went to the church. So the very next day, Joman went there with his sister, Lally. At the church, Joman saw a beautiful woman named Catherine. Knowing her brother was attracted to Catherine, Lally explained that Catherine was the only child of a well-known businessman who had a big business in Dubai. Finding out about this news, Joman's uncle was excited because if they got married, their family would get even richer. The next day, Joman's uncle deliberately parked his car right behind Catherine's car intending to block her car. Soon, Joman came with his car to pick up Lally who was also at the same place. Lally then invited Catherine to come with him home. Seeing Joman who was looking excitedly at Catherine, Lally asked Joman to drop her at a cafe, saying that she wanted to meet her husband there. She did that so that Joman could be alone. On the way, they started to get comfortable and had a chat. Fortunately, Catherine also shared the same feeling with Joman. Since that day, they became closer and ended up dating. One day, Vincent was running a project with his business partner. His partner gave capital for the project while saying that the project would run smoothly. After that, Vincent decided to give his clothing store to Joman and gave him the responsibility to run the business. In the evening, Vincent received a surprise from his children because that day was his birthday. It was seen that they were a happy family, but that happiness didn't last long. One day, Vincent went to the clothing store he gave to Joman to shop for some clothes. He then asked the clerk about the store and found out that Joman had sold the store to someone else a few weeks ago. Vincent was mad to hear that. He left the store disappointed and went straight to the construction project to check the situation. Unfortunately, he once again got very shocking news. His employees there were informed that the land of the project had not received a permit to carry out the construction and that the police had made an arrest warrant for Vincent. All this news was a hard blow for Vincent. His assistant, Rivani, approached him and asked what had happened. Vincent explained that he had promised his business partner a big profit. He had mortgaged his stores, house, and assets to the man and that would cause him to lose everything. Rivani was disappointed with him for making such an important decision unilaterally. They had no other choice but to give up everything. All of Vincent's children were disappointed with him. That rash decision had cost a lot to the family. After showing their disappointment, each of them left the house. Soon, the police came to arrest Vincent, but Ravani came at the last moment and said that it was all his responsibility and that he would take the punishment. He did all that so that Vincent could start once again from zero. Seeing his assistant and friend's sacrifice could only make him feel more guilty. While Vincent was feeling hopeless, Joman came to invite him to leave the house because the house would soon be confiscated by the bank. Joman took his father to the apartment he had rented in Tirupur. When they got there, Vincent immediately rested. The next morning, Mushtaq came to the room to prepare coffee for Vincent. 
He then took Vincent to the clothing factory that he had built and explained that Joman had collaborated with him to run the factory business with the money from the sale of his motorbike, the store that his father gave him. Vincent felt proud of his son who had changed into an independent man. The next day before going to work, Joman got a punch prepared by his father. Later, after arriving at the factory, Joman found that several people had come intending to collect the debt Mushtaq owed. He owed these people money because he ran the business without caring about the profit and loss in his factory. This then caused the factory to be confiscated by the bank and Joman was forced to close it. Feeling disappointed with Mushtaq, Joman immediately looked for him and immediately beat him. He had nothing anymore to make money. He sadly had to turn down his father's dream. After that tiring day, Joman went home. He didn't tell anything that had happened to him to his father because he didn't want his father to be disappointed. Shortly after, Joman went to meet his rich siblings. They felt sorry for Joman but still couldn't forgive their father's mistake, which resulted in them not getting the inheritance that they should have gotten. Joman was irritated to hear those words and decided to leave because his siblings only thought about wealth and inheritance from his father. On his way home, Joman got a call from Catherine who told him that she really missed him, and she also knew about the problems in his family. She then asked Joman to come to her house to cheer him up. When Joman got there, Joman was warmly welcomed by Catherine, but her mother didn't like her daughter being close to Joman, knowing he was bankrupt and she didn't want her only child to marry a man from a lower caste. Joman, who heard this, and approached Catherine and her mother who were talking and apologized to them. He then decided to end the relationship with Catherine. He did it because he was self-conscious and felt that Catherine didn't deserve someone like him. The next day, Joman was eagerly looking for work here and there and accidentally met an old friend of his who knew about his problem. His friend then helped him and introduced him to his boss to get a job at the factory. Joman was asked to start working the next day. He was hired as the sales for the company to sell goods. He lived this job with enthusiasm every day. One day while doing his job, Joman saw a couple of teenagers riding bikes and suddenly remembered the days when he was still rich. A few moments later, his sister-in-law called and said that she had transferred some money to Joman and his father and gave them an apartment. She did that secretly without her husband knowing it because he felt concerned about them. Joman was so thankful to hear that. On the way, Joman also saw Mushtaq coming and deliberately avoided him. After catching up with Joman, Mushtaq apologized and said that he had created a small business as an apology. He also invited Joman to work together again without asking for money. Seeing his friend's sincerity, Joman finally forgave him and accepted the offer. On the other hand, Vincent goes to a shop to buy cigarettes but unfortunately, the shop didn't have the cigarette he was looking for. Suddenly a man named Perumal came and helped him to find a store that sold the cigarettes he wanted. On the way to the store, Perumal told Vincent that he used to be a tailor, but after losing his customer, he was forced to close his business. Hearing this, Vincent felt concerned and invited Perumal to work in his son's factory. When they arrived at the factory, Vincent entered and intended to meet Joman, but the employee there said that the old owner had gone bankrupt and had sold the company. Hearing this, Vincent felt disappointed. Perumal, who saw him, didn't make fun of him and instead calmed Vincent down and then left. In the evening, when Joman had just come home, Vincent immediately slapped him because he felt disappointed that he had been lied to by his own son. He then asked the reason why Joman lied. At that moment, Joman immediately apologized and explained the reason he didn't tell his father about it. Joman said that he didn't want his father to be sad because he saw his son go bankrupt. Vincent, who heard Joman's explanation, explained that if previously he had said about the problems he was experiencing, then they could find a cheaper house to rent so that the expenses incurred were not too large. In the end, they apologized to each other and then hugged. Finally, Joman and his father moved to a smaller house, but despite moving to a cheaper place, they seemed happy about it, even Joman became more enthusiastic about working. Vincent always told Joman to remain grateful for what they had at the moment. Also, his father's assistant, Rivani, had been released from the prison. The next day, Joman went to the textile company and met the company's assistant manager, Vadi. Joman's intention was for the company to have a partnership with his small company, MNG Garment, but his application was rejected because he had not submitted an email to the company. Then he asked for the company's Wi-Fi password to send an email, but Vadi didn't tell him. Joman, who didn't get the Wi-Fi password, then approached the company manager and manipulated him into giving him the password. After sending the application, Joman immediately approached Mushtaq at his small factory. Mushtaq gave all financial responsibility to Joman so as not to make any more mistakes. Then Joman asked Mushtaq to deliver the goods they made using a bus because they had to save, but Mushtaq refused because the buses were usually late and that would be a problem. Hearing that, Joman decided to deliver the goods. On the bus, Joman met Vadihi who happened to take the same bus. Joman slept along the trip until he woke up after hearing a commotion. 
He then saw the crows protesting the driver because the driver was drunk and delaying the trip. The passengers who found out that the trip had been postponed were very angry. Joman then took the initiative to secretly take over the bus since he had experience driving his father's bus before and left the drunk driver alone. After arriving at his destination, the passengers were very thankful for him. After that, Joman went to the market, shopping for his factory's needs. When he had finished shopping, he found out the bus he needed to take had gone, and there wouldn't be any buses coming until the very next day. Coincidentally, Joman met Perumal who then invited him to stay at his house for one night before he went back to town the next day. Joman immediately accepted Perumal's offer. When they arrived at Perumal's house, Joman was surprised to find out that Vedihi was the daughter of Perumal. On the other hand, seeing her father and Joman, Vedihi invited them for dinner. That night, Joman couldn't sleep because there were a lot of mosquitoes and it kept bothering him. Suddenly, Vedi came to him and gave him a repellent. They then chatted at length until it was almost morning. The relationship between them had grown closer. One day, Vincent was invited by Perumal to work in a sewing factory. Vincent deliberately worked there because Joman hadn't given him money to buy cigarettes. On the other hand, Joman Mushtaq and Vedihi were hanging out in a cafe. While they were chatting, Vigini got a call from someone who asked her to immediately pay off her debt. At that time, Vedihi didn't have any money and asked the man for more time. However, the man refused. Joman and Mushtaq, who heard it, immediately told her that the first profit they got from their business would be given to her to pay her debt. They said that it was a present for accepting their small company partnership. Vedihi was a little embarrassed with that, but Joman immediately calmed her down. Thanks to the money given by Joman, Vedihi could pay her debt. She then celebrated it with a party in her house. Perumal then invited Vincent to come while Joman was invited by Vedihi. At the party, Vincent and Joman pretended not to know each other. After the party, Joman found out that his father managed to buy cigarettes despite not receiving money from him. Vincent then explained that it was just the cigarettes that he had bought long ago. One day, Joman was going to a sewing factory to pick up a customer's order and accidentally saw his father who was working there. He looked annoyed and immediately dragged his father out and asked why he was working without telling him first. Vincent immediately explained that he was working only to meet his own needs. In the evening, when Joman came home from work, he gave his father a pack of imported cigarettes that his father liked. Seeing this, Vincent was happy, but suddenly, Joman told him the reason he didn't give him money to buy cigarettes was that he wanted him to be healthy so he could live longer with him. Hearing Joman's reasons, Vincent was touched and he immediately threw the cigarettes that Joman had bought. He promised to give up smoking. On the other hand, Vedehi had received a task from her manager to take care of a client from France who kept making comments that she didn't understand at all. She immediately called Joman to ask for his help. Without wasting more time, Joman immediately came and helped. It turned out that the client wanted to research traditional Indian clothes. She looked satisfied and happy when Joman and Vedehi took her around, and thanks to their good work, a client wanted to collaborate with Joman's business and asked him to export his goods to France. Joman, who heard this, was very happy, but when they talked about the collaboration, they realized that this required quite a lot of money, so he intended to cancel it. However, at night, he had a dream. In this dream, he found a solution to his problem by visiting a production house in a small village the other day to invite them to collaborate with him. The very next day, he went and gathered the workers there to be willing to collaborate. He also promised to pay them more than other companies, but the payment they would get was after sending the production to France. Seeing Joman's sincerity, the workers there agreed. It didn't take long for them all to complete the production and import them to France. Thanks to the progress they made, the bank was happy to lend them money to run the business they were running. Joman wisely managed the profits from the company and used the money obtained to pay the workers in the village and to buy out his father's house. The next day, Joman immediately prepared to move to his old house in the city, which was full of mementos from his childhood. During the trip, his father was amazed at Joman because he had changed so much and became a responsible and reliable person. He also had given up flirting with women despite having everything a man could ask for. Joman could only smile to hear it. When he arrived at his old house, Vincent gathered all his family to celebrate the success that Joman had achieved. Everyone was proud of Joman for returning the family's valuable assets. Not only the house, but all the valuable assets that had been confiscated by the bank, including the construction that had been detained by the police, were also returned to them. Vincent then apologized and promised not to make decisions unilaterally and to repeat the mistakes he made. One morning, Joman invited his father to exercise. Vincent was shocked to see Perumal, who lived in the same complex as him, not only Perumal, but also Vedahi. It was all Joman's planning. He did all that because he had a relationship with Vedahi and they would get married soon.